Hi there. If you remember last time, we were using ActionScript to create instances of objects that we had created in the library. One of the things that I was telling you is that you can use comments to help document and show really clearly in your code what you're doing. Now, comments are used, uh, are used to document your code so that when you share code with others or let's say that you're doing a project and you come back to it six months later, you have notes in the application to sh actually tell you what everything is, what everything is doing. Comments are pretty basic, and they're also used with almost every single project. There are some specific best practices for using comments. There are some automated documentation tools that you can use, but we're going to cover just the really basic two types of comments that you can add in ActionScript. So if we take a look at our ActionScript here, we've created instances of the blue square uh, object. We have a trace statement. We have a couple add childs, and we have, we're modifying some of the x and y coordinates um, of this one instance we can use comments to add a little bit more information so that we know exactly what's going on. Com there are two types of comments. The first type is called a single line comment. So let's say at the top here, I want to have some sort of note to myself that says, I'm creating an instance of the blue square object. To start a one line comment, use a double forward slash. And this is always the first, set, uh, the first two characters of the single line comment. Then anything I put after that double, that double slash is considered a comment, and it's hidden from Flash. So it's there when I actually look at the code, but Flash is just going to ignore it when it creates the Swift file. So after this, I'm going to put a note here that says, create instance of blue square. You'll notice that it's grayed out a little bit. This is a visual cue so that you know it's a comment. And it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be parsed by the compiler when it creates the Swift. There's also a couple shortcuts that you can use that make making comments easier. So let me go down to the bottom one here, where I'm modifying the x and y coordinates of the instance. If you notice at the top here, I have apply line comment. Once I click that, it automatically creates that double slash for me, and then I can type in my comment here. Reposition the my other blue square. There are no limits to how many comments you can have in your action script. Sometimes people have a lot of comments that document exactly what's going on step by step. Some people also put all their comments at the top to explain exactly what's happening in their application. Any combinations work. It's basically what's going to be best for you and your team. Now this is just one type of comment, the single line comment. There's a second type where I can actually have an entire range of lines that can be encapsulated as a single comment. This is called the multi-line comment. The format is a little bit different. So at the top, I'm going to create just a multi-line comment to, that's going to capture exactly what's happening in my application here. A multi-line comment, just like a parentheses that we have here, has a set of characters that start it and a set of characters that end it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these two commands to actually encapsulate as bookends for the entire comment. So I'm going to start off with a slash and then a single asterisk. This is going to be the starting sequence for my comment. I'm going to create a comment here that says action script demo, and then I'm going to press the return key. I'm going to put in a couple spaces so I'm lining everything up for creating instances. I'm then going to create the closing uh, comment tag, which is asterisk slash. It's the opposite order of what the opening comment uh, tag is. You'll notice that everything inside the slash asterisk and the asterisk slash is grayed out because it's now a multi-line comment. So I can also use the multi-line comment tool at the top, which is apply block comment. It's the same thing as a multi-line comment. If I click this, it will automatically create the opening and closing tags, and then I can type my comment inside of this. Something you may have heard people do is a phrase called commenting out. All that commenting out is is taking specific code that's actually ActionScript, and I'm removing it or temporarily hiding it in order to take it out of use. So let's take, for example, the, um, let's take, for example this my blue square line that I have here. If I run this file, you'll remember that I have two instances of the blue square, and in the output panel, I have this object blue square. 
That's because I'm taking the first instance and I'm outputting it to the console. Let me actually remove that so that I'm temporarily taking it out of, uh, taking it out of my application, but I don't want to actually remove the code entirely. So what I'm going to do is I can actually just select the line and then apply line comment. When I do that, it's going to comment out, which means it's going to take this action script and make it seem like it's a comment when all I'm doing is taking it out of play. So now when I run this, the output panel doesn't display anything. That's because every line of comment is ignored by the compiler when it creates a Swift file. If I wanted to apply a multi-line comment to comment out multiple lines, I can select an entire range. Let me take, for example, this bottom section here, and I can use the apply, uh, I can use the apply block comment here, and then it actually comments out a multi-line segment. If I want to remove a comment, I can also use this last option here, which is called remove comment. If I have a range or I have a single line selected, clicking this will actually take out the opening and closing tags of a multi-line comment or take out the double slash of a single line comment. So that's the basics of using comments in Flash. It's always a good idea to include comments, not just for sharing, uh, sharing your application with other people, but for when you come back to your projects weeks or even months later, it's very helpful and you can get back up to speed as to what your application was doing when you have good comments in your, in your action script.